the God that shows his power in the midst of the chosen people. Like to see you clapping unto God or choosing. Appreciate him for his wonderful move in this dispensation, in this era. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. For our testifiers, please tell us your name the first time you came to choosing. I want to appeal to you, please go straight to the point. Leave all the stories that make up the testimony. Just please go straight to the point. Tell us what God of choosing has done for you. The first testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Wine Madam. I live here in Festac. I joined these great movements in the year 2004. I want to thank God for making me and my family chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. I want to appreciate this great God that really honored the prayer of our geo. On Saturday, we came for celebration. Through his ministration, he said that some, we, as we are going home, some receive a um, phone call of financial favor. It came to pass in my life. Choosing praise the Lord. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. I, I was favored with 140,000. Wow. Praise the Lord. Let's appreciate the God of choosing by clapping unto him. Thank you, Father. This favor came on the same Saturday. Yes, sir. After Pastor gave the word of knowledge. Yes. That same Saturday. Yes. After the service, God of choosing. Bless yes. you. Confirm the words of our pastor in your life. Yes, sir. Shall we clap unto God of choosing? Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. I want to pray for our geo that God will continue to protect him. God will continue to guide him. Amen. What God has started in his life can never, he can never uh, uh, lack anointing. God will create, uh, increase him Amen. with anointing power that has never been used by any man. Amen. And so shall this come to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for him and the family in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for my family, heaven at last, all of us, heaven at last, in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's clap unto God or choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Mary Michael. I live at number 14, Akiwumi Street, Agege. I joined Choosing in the year 2008. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It happened that I developed eye problem. So I went to the eye clinic for checkup. So after several tests and seeing the doctor, they told me I was showing signs of glaucoma, although it was in the early stage, I've not affected my vision yet. So I asked the doctor, what is the solution? She said there is no cure for it. That I will only manage it whenever they can manage it to. That I'll have to come to the clinic every month for checkup, and then I'll have to keep using eyeglasses and eye drops every day. Mm. So I was wondering for how long, she said they don't know, that they have not discovered any cure for it yet. So I said, okay. I started going for checkup, and I started making prayers about it. Ajo used to mention the case every time there is service. So I used to claim it. Then I told God that if God will heal me, I'm going to give him a particular amount. So after several checkups, I was not getting better. So I told God that I'm going to double the amount if he heals me. And by that time, enemy submitted program was coming up. So on the day of the program, uh, Joe mentioned the case and every other eye problem, and I received my healing. Choosing praise the Lord. Thank you, God of choosing. i like us to clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. 
Choose to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All the pain, all the discomfort, everything is no more. Mm. I went back to the hospital to, for a comprehensive eye test. After every, every test and everything, they told me I don't have any sign of glaucoma. Mm. I am doing very well and my eye is very well. Clap unto God of choosing. I like us to appreciate the God of choosing by clapping unto him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. And this eye problem you mentioned, they say you were having signs of glaucoma. Yes, sir. And you know, they told you that it doesn't have any medical remedy. Yes, sir. That you have to keep managing it still, wherever. Yes, but sir. But Pastor mentioned the case during the program and the enemy submitted. Yes, sir. And today, all the signs, even all the signs, you said you were having eye pain. They were having eye pain, uh, discomfort. I can't enter the sun. I can't look at anybody with my eyes open. Mm. I'll feel teary, the pain every time. But today I am standing. I am very, very comfortable. Mm. Choosing praise the Lord. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. And the same people that diagnosed you of that problem also diagnosed that you are now completely free. Yes, sir. Oh, what a great, wonderful move of the God of choosing. Let's appreciate him. Let's clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I pray for my pastor that God will continue to sustain him, that God will give him sound body, and every of his heart desires to be granted in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for all the choosing ones as we have come here today. Whatever we mention to God in prayer, he will do it for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Choosing praise the Lord. And I think that thing you have in your hand is the... Yes, sir. It's the, it's the seed I told God I've healed me. The seed me. you pledged to God of choosing. Yes, sir. And you even told him, God, if you did, I would double it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that is the double you have now. Yes, sir. What a great God we serve. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Let's appreciate the God of choosing by clapping unto him. Thank you, Father. In our pastor has said sometimes ago, he said, if there are some challenges, you need to challenge God with a, with a seed. Just sow a seed and you will see. You know, we are not saying this for need of money. Thank God she did it on her own and you can see the testimony coming. She said, she, she promised God of choosing, if you do it, I will give you this. And when she waited for a while, she said, God of choosing, if you do it, I will double it. And God of choosing took up the challenge and so it is, I'll start challenging him. And now he has rolled away the problem. Challenge God. You can sow a seed concerning your problem. Our sister sow a seed. And you can see that God of choosing honored it and has rolled away. Of course, you know, glucomia has no cure. Sincerely, medically, there is no cure. It leads to total blindness. It's only in choosing. Impossibilities are made possible. Let's clap unto this God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Do you have anyone suffering that problem? Thank God this crusade is coming up on Saturday and Sunday. Even if the case is total blindness, deaf and dumb, total paralysis. God of choosing has shown us a sign that he cured glaucoma from our sister. So do you have any person having any challenge? And maybe the medical ones have written them off and said there is no cure. Bring them to this program. You will experience the wonderful move of God in their lives. Let's clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. The next testifier. Choosing praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My names are Brother Michael Ugochupu. I reside at number seven, Orenuga Street, Okafa. I joined choosing right from the onset from Elasa. Today, I am very, very highly delighted to be in the midst of the choosing people to glorify God on how God used our general pastor to honor a prayer request I brought up before him. It happened that in my company I joined last year, a particular product was assigned to me. And that particular product 
Everybody abandoned the product. The product was not moving. And I was specifically assigned with my team. I happens to be the sales manager and a target was given to me on that product. And that product was huge in quantity, up to 70,000 cartons, mm. runs in billions of Naira. And when I went into the market, I did my research, I found out that people are no longer buying the products because they have fallen out of uh, the product. I travel outside the, uh, um, Lagos to source for distributors and other people. Still, nothing was coming. In fact, the responses I was getting was very, very low. And this was tied on my job. I said, what will I do? My wife said, we should take this product to the church. Specifically, I heeded to her instruction and I brought the products here. Numerical, uh, honestly, pastor will be praying for product that has been in the warehouse that has not been selling. I said, let me key into this prayer. On that particular day, that was in a combined service. I lift, when pastor was praying, I lifted up the product and pastor mentioned, he said, that product you have there that is not selling. He said, that product, mark you my word, that product will start selling and people will start asking for that product. That was exactly, I didn't make any vow. I didn't say, God, if you make this product, that I will sell it, that I will give you some amount of money, or I will appreciate it with this. I was so much ignorant on that, to be frank. And I looked at myself, I prayed, I said, God, if you can make me to sell this product within a year, I will be very, very much happy, and my company will be happy. Before you know it, I started this product by January this year. I gave my target, I gave myself a target of one year at least that the product will go. But before you know it, customers from all over Nigeria, from the East, from Lagos, everybody started asking for this product. Hmm. And before you know it, from that January to June ending to July, as I speak to you right now, that product has finished in our warehouse. Wow. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Clap unto the God of choosing. Let's appreciate him. He answers prayers. Thank you, Father. And you said this product in quantity is, you said 70,000. Yes, 70,000 carton that runs in billions of naira. That runs in billions. Yes. And my target of my promotion, everything was targeted on that product mm. by my MD. I said, how can I move this product? Which everybody is rejecting. Other sales managers could not be able to sell it. But when I was appointed and other assignment was given to me, this was given to me. And this was the first, they said, you should try this one first before any other thing. And to the glory of God today, I'm standing before the midst of the Lord choosing people to glorify God and to say that this product has gone into the market mm. and everybody is selling it right now. Thank everybody you, is Father. Sales. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. I said, Pastor gave word of knowledge specific. Yes, sir. What did he say? The, when Pastor, when I lifted up the product, when I lifted up the product, oh, Pastor was praying and said, that product that refused to be sold in the market, mm. that he's giving his declaration that that product will be accepted and people will buy it, mm. that all those goods will be sold. Mm. And that was how it came to pass. Exactly as he said it, it yes, came to sir. pass. Yes, Let's sir. appreciate it. said, I will give this or I will give that if God do this thing for me. But on that note, right now, I stand to appreciate God with a, with a token of 100,000. I will transfer the money immediately Thank right now. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. To appreciate what God did for me. And at that juncture, I want to thank this God of the choosing for what he has been doing, the wonderful move of God that is going on. Mm. I have two other testimonies 
that the testimony interviewers have asked me to, to do. So I will come back for that. To this, I pray for our general pastor, heaven at last, and all the members of his family, to every members of the choosing worldwide, and me and my family, heaven at last, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. Are you there? You have testimonies. We'd we'll love to hear your testimony. Maybe you're just joining us in the fellowship and God of choosing visited you. We'd we'll like to hear your testimony. We'd we'll like to celebrate with you of the wonderful move of God in your life. So quickly go to my right hand side. There is still opportunity for you to testify in today's service. The next testifier. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please moderate us, sir. I want to appreciate the Lord with this song, sir. Please, you can sing. Glory, glory, glory to the Lamb. Glory. Hallelujah. By the special grace of God, my name is Sister Faith Onoha, and the sister standing be beside me, her name is Sister Joy Onoha. We are choosing, and by his grace, we joined, I joined the Lord choosing 2006. Why she, she was born here. So choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And also we reside at number 22 Prince Bay Street, Agopa last week. We want to share a revelation the Lord showed to her this morning. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The revelation goes, <coughs> it goes like this. So I think it was around early this morning. So what happened was that it was like I was in a particular hall and there was this seat, this throne that was attached to the wall in, of that hall. And there was a man standing beside me, and, there was, and I was beside, yeah, there was a man standing beside me. Beside, and that man was also standing, that man that was standing was beside the man sitting on that throne. <laughs> but the person that was on the throne was not visible. I couldn't see the person, but the person was actually speaking. So what the man said was that, he was talking to me, I was like, should I know about what's going on, about the lost choosing and everything online? And I was like, yes, sir. And I said that he's aligned everything to go for his name to be glorified, that he knows what he's doing, and it's for the expansion of this ministry. I was not like, okay, sir. So he now told me that what the, my geo said this week is, and I was like, this week program is the wonderful move of God as of old. Then he told me that, okay, that what he will do in this program, that what my what what we do in this program, my eyes will see, his eyes will see, but mouths cannot talk because this program is going to be a wonderful and a great one. Hmm. That's how the revelation went. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. I'd like you to give her the mic again. Let us get the message clearer. We had you, but for clarity. He said, he that said that was sitting on the throne. Yes, sir. Now, carefully, tell us what he said. He asked me, 
Sure, you know that. What do your pastor, sorry, ask me, what do your pastor say ab about this week? So, and I was like, he told us that this week is a week for the wonderful move of God as of old. He now said that what is, he is going to do in this program, eyes will see it and mouth will not be able to talk. Hmm. Hold on there. Eyes will see, but mouth will not be able to talk yes, sir. what he will do. Yes, sir. Come Saturday and Sunday, the wonderful move of God as of old. Wow. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Say more if you have more to say. No, sir, that, is that, that is all. So he said that all that happened online, he allowed them that his name might be glorified. Yes. Am I right? Yes, sir. And you said something again for the advancement of the church. Is it what you said? Yes, that it was for the name of for his name to be glorified and it's for the advancement of the ministry. For the advancement of the ministry and that his name might be glorified. And in this program, come Saturday and Sunday, what he will do, I will see, but mouth will not be able to say all. I think that is what clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. So you should know now this message. Thank God, she, she said, He that sat, that said it was sitting on the throne. And said, You, you said you, you knew he was there, but you couldn't see him. Am I right? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Put the mic to your mouth. Yes, he was there, but it wasn't visible. It wasn't visible very well. Because if you say it was a man you saw, we will know it can't be God. Because if it is God, no man can see God. But she said, she knew somebody was sitting there, but the person was what? Invisible. So very clear that that message came from the Lord. Shall we clap unto God or choosing? And our response to a message like this is to go and tell all that God will do something. The God of choosing in this program, the wonderful move of God as of old. This thing is, this information is to boost your faith. Is to motivate you to go out and tell everybody to come. Persuade all to come. If you hear this type of message and you come to that program without somebody, then you did not value this message. Then you did not believe this message. That is the technical interpretation. That you have heard from her what the Lord revealed to her. And she has declared it to the church. And you did not make any use of it. To stand on it and invite somebody and compel somebody to come. And bring many people to this program. Then that will be termed as uh, unbelieving from any person that did not invite somebody to come. So our response to this message is to go into the world, go into the field, go into your neighborhood and carry people to come to this program on Saturday and Sunday. And your eye will see, but your mouth will not be sufficient to tell what the God of choosing will do. Let's clap unto him. Let's appreciate him. Thank you, Father. You can conclude your testimony now. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And as we pray to the Lord for our daddy in the Lord. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus, Daddy, we thank you for all that you are doing in the life of your servant. Father, our confidence is that you that have started with him, you will finish with him in Jesus' name. Amen. And the Bible says, faithful is you that have called him, and you will do this work through him. That we pray for your divine protection upon him, upon his household. We also pray that your power will rest mightily upon him, even for this program that is coming Saturday and Sunday. That all glory will be ascribed to your name in Jesus' name. Amen. We cover our bodies, our testimonies with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Clap unto God of choosing. Let's appreciate the Lord by clapping unto him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. The next testifier. 
Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Please, moderator, I want to learn that song. Please sing, man. I have come to thank you. The God of choosing, I have come to thank you for what he have done. I have come to thank you, thank you, thank you. I have come to thank you for what he have done. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. The sister standing before you, my name is Sister Glory Alu. From Alabado Autonomous. I am here to I joined this very great movement in the year 27. And since then I still remain a choosing. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Brethren, I am here to glorify the name of the God of the choosing for what he did in my life. I am here to thank God for delivering me for the two years lay poison in this my right leg. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. This leg poison, it was very terrible. It was very terrible. This leg, I cannot match it on the ground. It is a wheelchair they was using to carry me. Even though I want to go to where they are treating me, if I manage, they will help me and bring Okada to that place. So, I keep on coming to service, both Thursday, both Tuesday, both Wednesday. Our daddy G will keep on measuring the case. Immediately I'm about to enter. My, my case will be, be the first case he will measure. He will say, you that sister that are much poison, that they command that life poison to dry up. Immediately, I begin to receive a sign in this very leg. Before you know, this leg poison dry up. Mm. I, Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. This very leg that you are seeing so that the God of choosing hid me through the prayer of my daddy Gio. Mm. The leg was even rotting, rotting, entering inside the very rot. And it was smelling, smelling seriously. Hmm. If I stand like this, I'll be hearing the smelling of this very leg. Oh. If I keep my leg on the ground, it will be crushing water. That particular place I put my leg, water will just fill on the ground. In short, I, was, I have already lost hope. I keep on praying. I say, God, remember me. Don't allow me to die through this leg poison. As God may have it, my dad keep on mentioning the case. And today, I am here. Thank you, God of choosing. Let's join us, celebrate our testimony by clapping unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. In this generation, And you I said this thing stayed on you for two years. For two months, two months. Okay, two months. Yes. Two months. Yes. Wow. So, in this generation, I want to pray for my daddy Gio. This very God who called him. In this end time, in my own time, that this very God will continue to be with him. Amen. He will never disappoint him. He will help him to perform the three words mission and time lost man death in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pass a decree, no form of failing, praying against him, and he has hope. Physically, spiritually, he shall prosper until their life in the mighty name of Jesus. For all the choosing members of the wide world, heaven at last. I myself and my family heaven at last in the name of jesus amen i cover my testimony with the special blood of jesus blood of jesus christ let's clap unto god of choosing appreciate the lord by clapping unto him thank you father thank you god of choosing wow the next testifier Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choose him, praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Ifoma Obiku. I reside at Tijesha. I joined Choose him fully 2010, and I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. Thank you, God of choosing. 
I am here to appreciate God for what he did for me. My testimony goes like this. The month of August, in fact, the month of August after the enemy submitted, it's just like the host of darkness will lose against me. In fact, after that week of enemy submitted, the next week, it was problem upon problem. And this one is going, another one is coming. And this one is going, another one is coming. Since I was born, I've never witnessed such. I cried on to God in this my problem. I said, God, save me. Don't allow this wind to carry me. Don't allow this storm to weigh me down. What is this? What is this problem? Where is this problem coming from? God told me that the powers of my father's heart, that I should not be angry about these people, that is the powers of my father's heart, because of the publicity that I did in that element submitted, that they're angry, that they want to bring me down by all means, they want to frustrate me so that I will not serve this God, that I should not be angry with all these people, all what I'm seeing, that it's not, by, it's not ordinary, it's the manipulation of the powers of my father's heart. In all these things, it's just like God stood by me, as uh, this one is coming, God is taking them away. As uh, this one is coming, God is taking them away. Uh, this one, in fact, it's just like a fear to me. In fact, I want to thank this God because I was thinking, ah, so I'm not going to be in this Lagos again. This is how I'm going to go back to Vinay. But in all these things, God told me, don't be angry with all these people. It's not ordinary. Uh, it's the powers of my father's heart. They are angry that I should not be angry. But in all these things, go fight all this, but even the one that I'm not qualified, he fight all of them and give me victory. So I'm here to appreciate this God. I said, let his name be praised and adored forever and ever for in Jesus' name. Amen. My second testimony goes like this. I want to also appreciate this good God for what he did for me in that even month of August. There is this item that I give a man that normally repairs things for me to repair. This is not the first time he's repairing. When he, re when he, I will give it to him. He tell me the price. I will pay him. After repairing, he will call me. I will come and take it. But this one, I gave it to him and paid him. He repaired it, finished, and did not call me. So I was searching for him. I could not get him. His phone number was not going again. I said, Ah, why would this man do such a thing to me? I don't know his house. He only tell me where I will bring it. I went there. I did not see him. So after searching for him, I forget about it. But last year. August, after going to Bethel, I was coming back after we dismissed the third day. God just brought this man to me at this Ijesha Express. And I asked him, why did you do such? Why now? Your number is not going. There's no trace of you again. He said he's sorry that I should go to so so woman. That is where he dropped it. I should go there and take it. So when I went there, I cannot see the woman. I've gone there several times. I did not see the woman. The last day, I met the woman. The woman said that the man have come to take the item away. He's no longer with her again. I was disappointed. So I decided to forget about that item. This thing has taken almost two years. So in that month of August, I had a dream. We are going to show me that item again. When I wake up, I just laugh. I say, this thing that I have lost for two years, is it possible for me to recover it? How? How will I trace the man? I just pray and forget about it. So in the morning I prepared, I was going to market. I, was, I wanted to pass my normal route. The Spirit of God said, take this side. Shebi said, I want to buy something. I said, yes, I want to buy something. I take the other side. So when I was going, I was contemplating. I said, ah, this dream I had, God, what is the meaning of this? Give me a sign now. I, just, I was just contemplating. Before I know it, look at this man at my front. He wanted to hide. I said, oh, God, don't hide. Though. I'll see you. Don't hide. He said, eh, if you see me, come. Did you come with warrant? Did you come with lawyer? Did you come with police to arrest me if you see me? Come. I said, I did not come with any of these things you mentioned. It is God that arrested you. Give me my item. He said, okay, I should follow him. That he did not sell it. That he dropped it to social place. I said, that was what he told me. I went to that woman. I did not see it. Take me to there. Finally, he took me to a place. He dropped it. And I went there and collected it at ease without no problem. So I want to appreciate God for Thank that. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. My last testimony is that I want to thank this God of choosing for victory he gives to my entire family over land disputes. This land has taken almost 10 years, from primary court to high court. I don't want to tell story, I just want to go straight to the point. It all happened that one big man in my kindred, where to do? He died with politician, he traveled all over, he had connection. My father called him son, he called my father father. 
He, my father is the oldest man in my kindred, 90 something years. People come to him to seek advice. Whenever something is wrong, he is the one that will make peace. So all of a sudden, this man see that our land because it was on site. He now came. It's not one land, just many lands. It was on site. He came to my father and said, see this land? He wants it. My father said, ah, oh, my son, it's not for sale. He said he's not asking whether it's for sale or not. That he knows him, that whatever he desire, he have it. That, he want it. that because of his relationship with my father, because he called my father father, my father called him son. That is why he descended to low to come and tell my father that he need the land. As soon as other people, he just sent his boys to go and do whatever he wants in that land. That he wants to tell my father we should stay, stay away from that land. My father thought that it's a joke. Before you know it, he has sent his boys in, the, in those lands. They started cultivating it. And when my senior brother see it, he called the man. He said, you should shut up his mouth. He's a small boy. That he did not see anybody in the family that will challenge him. That we know that whatever he desires, he will have it. So my senior brother take the matter to primary court. Because of his connection and everything, he's where to do. He win us in primary court. We take it to high court. In that high court, he called boys, he divided the kindred into two. When he come like this, he come with full throat, a full boss of rice. He will boys will follow him at the bar, they open his bag, he will carry money, he will be just be throwing his prey. Bars of rice, he will bring cow, he kill. People that he can get with material things follow him. Few people that know what is good, he said they cannot follow him. Even his junior brother and his wife say, told the man that what he's doing is not good, he will not follow him. The man kill the brother and kill the wife. He is saying youth. He is saying youth. They keep on terrorizing my family. Disturbing. Bringing charms. When you wake up, you see one charm or other, blood, everything. But in all these things, God did not allow any of us to lose our soul. My father was angry. He was wrought. He told me, she will say she should not be going to native daughter. Now, how will this thing happen? I told my father he should look unto God. He will see what God will do. For complete one week, my father did not sleep. He was in the compound, rolling down, crying unto God that come and save him. And when this matter become tough, I came to this altar. I pray unto God of choosing. I said, the earth is of the Lord and the fullness thereof. God of my pastor, my dad, my father have challenged you. He said, I should show him the God I'm serving. That I have told him not to go to the native daughter. He depends on you. Father, show him who you are. I write the name of these people. I put it in the book of science and wonder. I can't keep it in my house. I said, God, this battle is of yours. Because they have chased my senior brother out of outside the country, can no longer come back home. So before you know it, God of choosing arose. He arose, he started killing them one by one. I'm not happy that God killed them all, but they cannot question God. He started dealing with them one by one. Even those that have a son, God of choosing, take them away. Their wife is scattered their family. When the trouble becomes so much, people that in my kindred, they say they want to go and know what is happening. So when, to, when they go and search, they tell them that is what they did to my family. That they should go and apologize to that man. That God is fighting for that man. Some of them that have sinned, they came and apologized and removed their hand. But this man still refused that he must get what he wants. Before you know his strange sickness came upon this man. They take him all over the places. All his property, he sold all of them mm. in search of cure. And in that, he did not get cure. He died in that affliction. When he died, the whole family was, the whole kindred, everywhere, problem. The last man, his errand man that he used, that represented him in court, God of Jesus, I flee that one with kidney. Mm. That one was in kidney. He's the last man that was standing. Before you know it, he came and meet those people that did not follow them and tell them that they should come and help me. Follow him to my family to come and beg. They know that my family have won the case and they know that he's not knowing the day he's going. He's going. They should see his condition because he can no longer pay. The man has said all his property. He's the only one standing. He wants to go and hand the land to my family because he don't know the day God is going to call him. So those people that did not join them because of the material thing, they now bring him to my family and started begging my family that they have seen that we have seen that God are choosing, we have seen that God has fight for all, that we should please take the land back. My brother, my senior brother was not asking them, all the money he spent, all whatever the man did, will he just leave it like that? They say he should stop complaining that God has fight for him, 
that he should take the land. It's okay, he should go to high court because the matter is still in court. It has not ended. The man said he will go to high court. That last man that's standing, he will go and tell them. Then he went to last, uh, high court in this December that just passed last year and tell them that look at what they did is fake that the man bribed them this that and everybody is gone he's the only one standing that he want to hand the lamb back to the family because he don't know the day he's going the high court told them what they would do they did everything he handed the lamb back to my family so i'm here to appreciate this god of choosing thank you god of choosing for that victory he fight for us and give us victory I say, may his name be glorified for in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for my G.O., heaven at last, all the chosen world going all over the world, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's clap unto God or choosing. Appreciate him by clapping unto him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God or choosing. We take no pleasure in the death of anyone whether good or bad people, whether enemies or friends. Our desire, our pastor's prayer is that every soul should be converted, should repent, should be born again, no matter how bad and how evil they may be. So we do not pray for the death of anyone, neither do we rejoice in the death of anyone. But if you dare a chosen one, our pastor said you will face confrontation. And that confrontation is from the God of choosing. So, whatever be the challenge, present it to God of choosing. He will fight the battle for you. And he will give you victory. Second to the last testifier for the morning service. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Mesoma Chinedu. I joined Chizin in 2022. And I am happy to be a Chizin. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Chizin. I want to thank God for what he did for me. This year, I had oppression. First one was on December and second one was last three months. So this second one now, I, after I came back from the hospital, after some days, I started having the same stomach pain again. I went back to the hospital. The doctor said that it's the same thing that I've been having oppression for that came back again. And for that, that there's nothing they can do. So I should just believe if I die, I should just... So I said, okay, there's no problem. They said that only thing I can be eating is fruit, that I can't eat any other food again. That is only fruit. If I know that thing is pap or tea without bread. So when I came back, I already made up my mind that if death come, the only thing I want is just to make heaven. So when I came here on Tuesday service, my i did not eat anything that morning i just came with the the test they gave me they said that the intestine have squeezed hmm. that nothing can pass again so i came here with the stomach but what happened is that daddy was not around but the message was mainly on mercy he preached on mercy very very well that tuesday so I was crying if I have offended that God should forgive me. So after that, I, after the service, I went back. There was a lot of prayer that they said, that person that is having stomach problem, your intestine has damaged. I cancel it in Jesus' name. So I claimed it. When I went back to the office, I was sleeping. I saw myself where I was going to toilet. I've eaten and the food was in my tongue. I cannot go to the toilet and I cannot eat another one. So the, I saw myself here, I was going to the toilet, waking up in the morning. I started feeling like somebody that wants to go to the toilet. After going to the toilet, I came back. I ate. Initially, after the first oppression, I don't eat swallow. I don't eat, so it's only pap and tea after the first oppression. So I ate. I even bought swallow. I eat. I bought try. Since that I've been eating and I've been going to the toilet normally, nothing happened. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. 
She's in praise the Lord. Hallelujah. At this junction, I want to reach my daddy heaven at last. And I want to reach every choosy member at heaven at last. And I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus. Let, let, me, let me find out from you. Very. Problem, no more discomfort, no more pain. Yes, sir. Clap unto God of choosing. I'd like us to appreciate the God of choosing by clapping unto him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Wow. It's only in choosing you will experience recreation. Remember she said that the doctor said your intestine is damaged. You don't need to eat anything solid again. Just go and take tea, eat fruits. But when she came just last week, Tuesday, she said, Pastor, mention the case and cancel the problem in the intestine. The case and cancel the problem in the intestine. And God of choose indeed the good work of recreation. And now she can eat everything. She can eat rice. She said she can even swallow. And now she can use the toilet very well. No more pain, no more complication. Shall we clap unto God of choosing? Thank you, Father. Go and tell everyone.